Wagwan. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a simple, simple, quick breakfast. Some mackerel and fried dumpling. So let's get right into the video. Here we are cutting up some tomato. Yes, guys, you know, so your food have to look pretty and thing. Yeah. So now we're going to cut up a small onion. Then we're going to go in with some, some garlic. Here we're going to cut up some more bell pepper. So I'm using the red and the yellow bell pepper. So now I'm going to be cutting up some scotch bonnet pepper. So I'm not going to be using all of this, just a little piece because it's very hot. And now I'm going in with my scallion, aka the green onion. Yes, guys. So I already have my stove on medium. Meanwhile, I am doing all of this. I have some Johnny cake, you know, dumpling, fried dumpling on the other side of the stove. So guys, as you can see, you know I love when my pot is well seasoned, well pretty, and you know, like old time days when your grandmother used to fry dumpling and give you with salt mackerel or boiled dumpling. So yes, guys, here we are. Now we're going to be sauteing some vegetables. So we have the green onion, we have the scallion, the thyme hot pepper tomato and onion you can add any other spices and vegetable that you need but this is the go-to for your salt mackerel but guys i already scald my salt mackerel already like twice because you know it's salt so you have to get rid of the a little bit of the salt some people like it that way meaning tasting the salt and everything in the bones juicy and nice yeah who remember when them grandmother used to cut um cook up salt mackerel and when she done pick it up and everything me grandma me grandma me give me the bone yeah i made that I love the bone so <laughs> here we are sauteing some vegetables don't mind me i have fun while doing this so here we're sauteing some vegetables And now we're going to be adding our salt mackerel. Yes, it boils for 15 to 30 minutes. So we're going to be adding. I'm not going to do it the small, you know, when you're pickling up and thing. I'm just putting it in jumbo style. Yes. Girl of our salt mackerel. When you grow with your mother and your grandmother, you just pick up a thing or two around the kitchen. Yeah. See the bone there when I talk about that juicy bone there. I don't think I throw it away. I throw it when I put it back in the plate because I'm going to eat it later. Yeah. So guys, if your kids are going to be having the salt mackerel, please make sure you pick out all those little small fine bones so they don't get it lodged in their throat and stuff like that. Yes. So for me, my kids, no. So now that we saute all the vegetables and we add our salt mackerel, I'm just making sure that all the spices and seasoning locked in because guys, this smells so good. So now you're going to be adding a little bit of black pepper. Yes, guys, the black pepper. Nothing else, nothing more, but just the black pepper. You can also add some Cajun seasoning if you like to spice it up a little bit more but this is the the version that i know how to do so here we're going to switch over to our fried dumpling the johnny cake guys do not do that the, yes with that finger thing yeah don't do it get your fork all right yeah see them fried dumpling that with them golden and crispy and nice hey <laughs> crunchy nice a soft fried dumpling for look so fried dumpling look when I used to them for your plate is there hallelujah 
Yeah. So yes guys, see there? Nice fried dumpling, the Johnny cake. Yeah. Who remember when we used to get the Johnny cake with some chocolate tea? You know them chocolate the way grandma had great hunting Christmas morning? Yeah, them style them alike. So here I'm putting some Johnny. This is my breakfast, guys. So don't worry about me touching the Johnny cake and the dumpling. This is my breakfast. So this is a quick, simple, easy, delicious breakfast. So guys, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And to all my new subscribers, welcome to the Polynesian family. And to all my old subscribers, guys, I appreciate you, salute you. Remember to live good, love God, walk good. We'll see you next time. Peace out.